Hi, I'm David from Tramex Meters. Today I'm at RTI and I'm going to be talking about the features on our digital concrete moisture encounter, the CMEX5. So the concrete moisture encounter X5, or the CMEX5 as we call it, has a few buttons on the face of the meter that are important. This one here is the power button, so you can power up the meter. Here is the Bluetooth to connect to the app. We turn the Bluetooth on. This is if you need some backlighting on the screen. And then this top left button here is gonna give you a menu. So as we look through the menu, there's different modes here. The top one is gonna be one of the most common modes used on the meter, it's the non-destructive mode. That's using the base of the meter and pressing it to a surface. So within the non-destructive mode, there's five different settings that you can choose from. The first one is the concrete percentage of moisture content, and that's the most common one used for taking surface readings on concrete. The second one is a carbide method concrete scale, and that's used more often in Europe, uh, utilizing the carbide method scale, which is also the next feature using the carbide method scale for unhydrite materials, meaning materials that'll dry out completely. Different from concrete because concrete always holds some moisture. Then we have the Tramex gypsum reference scale, which is zero to 12. These CM unhydrite can also be used as a gypsum scale, which will give you a more common scale, giving a 0.5 to 1% reading as dry for gypsum or cementious screeds. And then below that on the bottom, we have just a zero to 99 reference scale. So this can be used for different materials. Say you're taking a reading on top of tile. You can use that reference scale and then use it as a comparative reading. The next option on the menu is the pin mode. So when we go into the pin mode, we're gonna see again five options. Top one is recently used, so the meter will remember what you've most recently, which pin you've most recently connected and in what mode you're using it. Uh, next, you'll see the wood standards. So these are the standard woods. And this is gonna give you US Douglas fir, oak, pine, spruce, and Scots pine. And then there's over 500 species that are also loaded into this meter. If you need to pick another species of wood, you can go through here and choose that wood. Then you'll have the wood moisture equivalent, which can be used with the different pins. And lastly, the drywall setting, which can be used with the pin in drywall, giving you the drywall scale. So within the PID mode option on the CMEX5, we have different attachments available. Uh, this is using our new bayonet connector. So once this is connected, this is a RH probe. As we go back to the screen, the meter will sense that this is connected and it's giving indications on the screen of what the probe is reading up here. And again, across the bottom of the screen, you're always gonna see the measurements that are given from the onboard hygrometer. So this is a external RH probe that can be installed in different wall cavities, etc., And it'll give us the temperature, relative humidity, dew point, and grains per pound ratio within a cavity utilizing this RH probe. This is the Hygro Y2 probe which can be connected to the CMEX5 for taking in situ RH readings. Again, we easily connect it with the bayonet connector. And the nice thing when these probes are connected and you go back to the home screen, it automatically picks up the particular probe that's being detected there. So we're looking at this probe here is acting like the hygrometer as well. But this probe is used for taking in situ readings within the depth of a concrete slab. When using the pin probe to do an invasive test to get a quantitative reading on wood, in this case we have a piece of maple 
here. So we're going to go in here and look at the wood species and go through until we find the maple. There, now you can see maple is listed across the top. And we're going to go ahead following the grain on this board. We're going to insert the pins into the wood and then we can take our reading. So this is a pretty dry piece of maple so we see we're getting 8.5 percent as our moisture content on the piece of maple. So when using the concrete moisture probe we're going to keep it in the non-destructive setting for concrete percentage of moisture content. The CMP is basically working as an extension of the concrete moisture meter. So it comes with a couple pieces here for the actual probe. These can be adjusted. So when you come up with what that depth should be, you can attach a probe at an appropriate length and then it basically functions as a cradle below the concrete moisture encounter. So it'll just fit right in there. And then this piece is dropped into the hole, sending a signal from here to here giving a reading from the bottom of the hole up to the surface.